If you're here, you already know what you want to make. Smooth, stable, and spicy videos from just one picture. Wand 2.2 Remix is the model everyone switched to, and once you see what it does, you'll understand why. Let's dive right in. Alright, this is the workflow we're working with. You can grab the same JSON straight from our website, link in description. Just download it and drop it into Comfy UI. I'll walk you through how this whole setup works and how to get everything running the right way so your spicy animations come out clean and smooth. Right here, you'll see the two big boys, the high lighting and low lighting remix models, and these are not the standard wand checkpoints. Remix is tuned specifically for human motion, and yes, explicit human motion. Skin textures stay stable, body movements actually look natural, and the motion doesn't turn into a soup of glitches. This is why most NSFW creators switch to Remix, it just handles the content better. Everything you need is on our website, we've got a full table that shows every file, where it downloads from and exactly which folder it belongs in. You need the high lighting model, the low lighting model, the WAN NSFW text encoder, and the WAN VAE. Those four give you the full uncensored capability. And then, totally optional, you can add the lightning LORAs. These are for speed. If you want faster generation and you're okay with a tiny bit less detail, lightning is your friend. Tons of creators use these when they're making a bunch of clips. If you're running this at home on Windows, installing the models is super simple. You just download the files and drop each one into the matching folder inside your Comfy UI directory. Now, if you don't have enough VRAM to run this model, RunPod is the way to go. You can use our Comfy UI template with Sage Attention built in, which gives you extra performance and lower memory usage right out of the box. Once your pod is running, click into the VS Code server. From there, find the exact folder you want to install the model into, like Diffusion Models or VAE. Right-click that folder and press Open an Integrated Terminal. Now head back to our website, click the download link for the file you need, and Hugging Face will open. Find the Copy Download Link button and click it. Back in RunPod, inside the terminal, type WGET, and then paste the link you just copied and press Enter. It'll download the file straight into the correct folder immediately. Do that for each file you need, the two remix models, the text encoder, the VAE, and the optional Lightning LoRa's, and you're fully set. So back to the workflow. This JSON is clean. Everything's labeled. The nodes for Lightning LoRa's are already wired in if you want to turn them on. You've got the image loader up here, the positive and negative prompts here. And at the end, there's optional rife interpolation if you want smoother motion. I'll show you in a second how that plays into the final results. This whole thing is designed so you can drag in your image, type your motion prompt, and hit run. That's it. So looking at the workflow, let's go through the parts you'll actually be changing when you're creating your video. Nothing overwhelming, just the pieces that change how the final clip looks. Starting over here with the load image node. This is where you drop in your base picture, PNG, JPEG, whatever you're working with, just throw it in and the workflow takes it from there. Right under that is the WAN video block swap setting. All this does is decide how many internal model blocks get swapped out to system memory instead of staying on your GPU. Swapping more blocks saves VRAM, but it slows everything down, so you always want to keep this number as low as possible. 16 to 20 is a good starting point, and if you ever run into an OOM error, just bump it up a bit. Worst case, set it to 64 and you will be fine. But before we continue, quick shout out to today's sponsor, FanView. FanView is a platform built for creators who want to monetize in new ways. And right now, one of the fastest growing trends is AI influencers. Yes, creators are already earning a serious income by building and running AI-driven accounts. To make it easy to get started, FanView has launched a free Creator Academy course. It gives you the exact step-by-step -step blueprint for setting up your own AI influencer and shows how people are turning their skills into a side hustle, with some earning thousands every month. If you're curious about making money with AI or just want to see how this space works, check out the free course. I'll leave the link down below, it's definitely worth a look. Alright, now let's jump back in. Sliding over to the one video model loaders, this is where you select the remix models. If your files don't show up in the dropdown, that happens sometimes, just press R on your keyboard. That refreshes all model lists instantly. And while you're in here, you can also flip Sage Attention on or off depending on your setup. If you're using our RunPod template, it's worth keeping this enabled. 
Below that are the clip loader and the VAE loader. As long as you've installed them into the right folders, they should pop up here automatically. We'll skip the prompting nodes for now, we'll dial those in later. Next up we've got the steps and split step controls. If you're using the optional lightning LoRa's, we need to tweak this a little. Firstly, select the lightning LoRa nodes in the workflow and hit Control plus B. That toggles them on. Once they're active, you can lower your steps, usually down to four steps with split steps set to two. It's quick and it still holds up really well for most videos. If you're not using lightning, just leave the steps at eight with the split steps at four and you'll get the best overall quality. Then we've got the resolution block. This one sets your short side resolution. I recommend 720 here. It keeps everything stable, smooth, and pretty light on VRAM. The other dimension scales automatically based on your image. So if your image is a tall portrait, you'll get 720 by 1280. If it's a wide landscape, it will come out at 1280 by 720. It just keeps the aspect ratio and adjusts the long side for you. And finally, the WAN video image to video encode node, the one that actually turns your still picture into a moving clip. The main thing you'll change here is the number of frames. If you want a five second video, just multiply 16 frames by five seconds and add one. So a five second clip is 81 frames. Same idea for four seconds, six seconds, whatever length you're aiming for. Prompting remix is honestly pretty simple. You're not describing the person. The image already gives you that. You're just telling it what to do. If you only want one clear action, you can be super direct. Things like turning around, bending forward, doing a jump, posing for the camera, or giving a peace sign. Remix handles actions like that really well, but you can also chain actions together. A slow turn, then a pose, then a playful gesture. The model will animate it as one smooth sequence. Just write what you want to happen. Here's a simple example that shows the style. She steps back, gives a playful pose, then smiles and throws a peace sign toward the camera. Short, direct movement cues. That's all Remix needs. When the generation finishes, you'll see why everyone jumped to Remix. The motion just feels right. Smooth turns, natural weight shifts, no weird flicker, and the camera movement blends in perfectly. The model handles transitions way better than the other WAN versions, so the whole clip feels intentional instead of chaotic. Now over here, you'll see the Rife Interpolation node. This is totally optional. What it does is take your finished animation and generate in between frames to make it look even smoother. If you want that extra soft Soft, polished feel, leave it on. If you prefer the raw output or you need faster renders, just bypass the Rife node and set the FPS to 16. Both ways work. It really comes down to whether you want a crisp, snappy motion or a more fluid, silky one. Once you've got a base clip you like, you can take it to the next level by upscaling it. Flash VSR is still the go-to for that. It gives you a clean high-res result without messing up the motion. And if you want the full breakdown, we already have a complete Flash VSR tutorial up that shows you how to upscale videos step by step. One thing to know, if you're planning to upscale, it's usually smarter to turn off the interpolation first. That way you're only upscaling the original frames. After the upscale is done, then you can interpolate the final high-res video for that extra smooth finish. So the smoothest pipeline is generate your motion with Remix, upscale with Flash VSR, and interpolate afterward if you want that silky vibe. And that's everything you need to start bringing your AI characters and influencers to life and start posting on those spicy platforms. Remix gives you so much room to play, so go experiment and see what kind of crazy motion you can pull off. If you're having fun with this stuff and you want more workflows, tips, or updates, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm dropping new videos all the time. Have fun creating, and I'll catch you in the next one.